Welcome to the Diligent Minds Podcast, where you get practical steps to help you become the best version of yourself and achieve your goals. I'm your host, Dorian Jones. Let's get into it. What's going on, Diligent Minds community? Happy Monday to you, and welcome to another episode of the Diligent Minds Podcast, where I provide practical personal development tips to help you become the best version of yourself, achieve your goals, and do all the things you put your mind to. If you like the sounds of that and you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button wherever you're listening to it. And anyone listening to this on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, go ahead and leave a rating and review. It takes a couple seconds out your day. It helps me grow the podcast, and I truly appreciate it. How you feeling today? How's your energy? Like, are you protecting yourself? Are you taking care of your well-being, your health? Are you taking that time for yourself? If not, I want to ask you to take a moment and schedule some time for yourself just to do some self-care, just whether that's you taking time to go relax, you going to get a massage, you getting a manicure, pedicure, getting a facial, or are you just taking a moment away from the world, away from your everyday? I want to ask you to grant yourself the permission to do so, to take care of you. And as you go ahead and plan that, I want to ask you to join me in a deep breathing exercise so that we can inhale all the things that we want to bring into our lives, all the things we want to manifest. And then exhale all the things that no longer belong to us, all the things that no longer serve us from the past, all the traumas that you had, all the things you hold in that you need to let go. We're going to exhale that on that ex- on that exhale breath. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's take a deep breath in for three to four seconds and then release. So as you release that breath, I want you to feel refreshed. I want you to feel like a like a new person. And if you have to take another one, go ahead and do that. There's no shame in it. We're going to dive into today's daily tip. Today, I want to remind you that the things that you're scared of the most are the things you need to address the most. Like that question you need to ask, that conversation you need to have, or just looking in the mirror, you're just like, hey, I need to do something about this. And you haven't done it. That's the thing that you need to do the most, because that's that's what's stopping you from becoming what you want to become. That's what's stopping you. That's that roadblock of what's been stopping you from from feeling that that fulfillment that you're looking for. That fulfillment is not going to come to you when you're still holding on to all that baggage. You know, you need to let go of once you have these conversations and have that closure, then everything else is going to come into fruition for you. So go ahead and do all those things that you're scared of, the things you holding off, putting back. Go ahead and do yourself a favor and address those things right now. Today's episode is all about just some motivation to remind you that you got this. Like whatever you going through in life right now, I want to remind you that that is not permanent, that you do have all these things that's going to attack you. All these things are going to challenge you and be sent to you to break you down. But you're much stronger than all of them. Look at you right now. Look at all the things you've been through. You still here standing today. So I'm going to just pump you up a little bit. Just get you back onto that onto that mode where you're like, oh, yeah, I got this. Let me go ahead and attack it. Just get you back into feeling like that, like you that person on top of the world. That's what we diving into in this episode. And we're going to start this off by saying, stop doubting yourself. You are only as good as you say you are. Whatever you tell yourself, you're right. So why not lift yourself up? Why not tell yourself those positive things? Why not be positive to yourself? I don't care how bad the circumstances may be. I don't care how how bad the future may look for you at the moment. But things don't continue to go as they are going right now. Things are always going to change. During the most tough times in your life is the most important times for you to instill that belief within. For you to instill that belief within yourself because that's what's going to pull you out of it. And it's going to make those those wins that much greater is going to make those those future uh, tasks that's attacking you that much easier to deal with because you see the things that you've overcome. So you had a testament that you can do it. And the next thing I want you to do is to trust your gut. Listen to your body. That gut feeling is usually right. <laughs> like every time we get that thing, like I feel it in my gut, I'm feeling it in my body. Nine times out of 10, probably a little higher probability than that. It's always right. A lot of times we get these feelings, but go against it because of the uncertainty that we may have. You don't know what's going to happen. So you want to play it safe. This is a survival tactic by our unconscious mind trying to protect us from the unknown results that may come because your mind is like, hey, you know what? We don't know what's happening right now. So we're going to protect you from that. We're going to stay away from that right now because we don't know what the outcome is going to be. But sometimes you got to break out of that. 
Sometimes you got to break out of your norm and you got to try something new. And then when you try something new, then that's when you discover new things. That's when you discover new things about yourself, about your abilities, about the things that you can tolerate and the things that you can handle. So I'm telling you right now, trust your gut. Whenever you get that feeling, go for it. What do you have to lose? Go after it. Go out there and get it. The next thing is that thought that you have, that's your confirmation. Whatever that thought is that's constantly coming into your mind, or if it's a thought that's creeping in here and there and you just question it, you second guessing yourself, that's your confirmation that you need to do it. That thought was given to you for a reason. It'll remain a thought if you don't do anything about it, though. If you're just sitting there and you're just thinking about it, you continuing to talk about it and thinking and you're just like, OK, I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking about it. It'll never become your reality. I don't care how much you try to talk and manifest it. You have to do the work because if you don't, you live with regret. If you don't jump into it, I'm telling you, if you don't jump on that thing right now, that thought that you had that you keep having that's just keep replaying itself in your mind. You keep having dreams about it. You keep visualizing it. You're thinking about it every day, all day. You're talking to people about it. You need to jump on that because the thing is, embarrassment stops us from doing something new, like whatever it is new that we want to try. We like, man, I'm not that good yet. But you have to understand everybody starts at the bottom. Nobody starts at the top. Nobody starts mid tier or all the way at the top already. Everybody has to start somewhere. No one starts off knowing everything and winning at the start of their journey. I don't care how good they try to make it seem. A lot of people hide their failures. A lot of people hide all the mishaps that they go through. So don't allow yourself to to not take action just because you're afraid to embarrass yourself. If you can think it, you can achieve it. But only once you pair it with a plan and consistent action. I'm not saying just thinking and you can achieve it because you have to do more than that. Another thing is you cannot show up only when you want to or when you feel like it. If you want to succeed at anything, you have to show up consistently all the time. I'm telling you, consistency is going to be all those frustrating moments, all those times of being in that unknown space is going to be beat as you continue to take action consistently. Now, this one is actually a question for you. Why would you settle for less? Like you got one life to live. So why would you settle for anything less than the best or for anything less than what you want? We all know that this is a marathon. We hear that all the time. We heard that's something that that Nipsey framed and he talked about so much. Like life is a marathon. I got to continue on this journey. In a marathon, it never stops. Most of the time along this marathon, we get comfortable and we stay in one spot. And it's okay if you face challenges that force you to stop momentarily. But the key word is momentarily. I talked about this in my book. I talked about this in one of the chapters where I said it's like riding a bike and you're on the road. You got a, you got your destination in mind and it's a hot summer day. You over there riding your bike, you drinking that water and you sitting under that shaded tree right now just taking a break. And that break is where a lot of people just stay and they remain because they don't want to go back into that sun and get uncomfortable. They don't want to go out there and sweat. So you just sitting there, you sitting there comfortable and you you find comfort within that space because You don't want to get back out there to the grind. You don't want to get back out there to the hard stuff. And I'm using that reference because that happens a lot because we settle. We settle for a lot of things. We get these jobs and we start to make a certain amount of money. We start living a certain lifestyle that we get comfortable with. We get content with and we never pick up our dreams again. Don't remain stuck forever. If you want to do something better, if you want to do something different, I don't want to use the word better. But if you want to do something different, you can't remain stuck. We were put here to experience life, not stay in one box and see it from one point of view for our whole lives. And that's what happened a lot of times with us. I know I've experienced that when I was growing up. I always seen things from one perspective and you owe it to yourself to at least attempt to do whatever it is you put your mind to. Whatever you thinking, whatever is put into your mind, you can do it. Like I don't care how hard it may seem, how impossible it may sound. Everything was impossible until somebody did it. Trust me, you have more to gain by going for it than you have to lose by staying where you are. And that's if you want to go after something more great than what you have right now. You want to leave an impact. You want to leave a legacy for your kids, for your grandkids, for someone else to live off of. You want to help someone else have a comfortable life because of the things that you did right now, because of the things that you're setting up at this moment. Go ahead and do that thing and don't settle. Remember, you have one life. You don't want to live with any regrets. Next tip. 
Tough times are not tough times. Any pushback you face is a distraction. That's all it is. There's nothing more than that. I'm telling you right now, you facing that pushback, all that is is just, hey, you got to go at it a different way or you have to go at it a little harder. It's the distraction is meant to test you to see how bad you want what you're asking for. You asking the universe for something. So now it's going to send you to test you to see like, OK, they asking for it. But how much do they want it? Let's go ahead and test them with this. And then some people fold. Some people like, uh, you know what? I don't want to go after this because I got friction. Think about one of the most rough times in your lifetime. I don't care if it's recent because you may be in the middle of it right now or if it's in the past. You got through that thing or you making it through that thing right now. You listening to this podcast, you able to to make an effort to try to do something different to make your life better. So that's a testament that that you able to get through those tough times. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. You being here today is proof that you will get through it. Look at it like a stock market. It always rises as time goes on and it goes down as well. I don't care how big of a hit you take. You will bounce back just like the stock market does. Every time we hit that low, we always come back to a new high. So look at your life the same way. You may be at a new low, but you're going to reach an even greater high than you've ever experienced before. Your bounce back will be much more enjoyable if you do the work and don't lose faith during your low points. So if you got a low point right now. Continue to push forward. Continue to do those small things. It may be tough. It may be hard. You may get moments where you don't even want to get out of the bed. I know it. I've experienced it. I know how that feels. But you have to pull yourself out. You may have those days where you're just chilling, where you're just like, man, I don't have the energy to do it. I don't even have a mindset to do it right now. But that next day, you're pushing at it. No matter what, you're not giving up. Once you get out of that space, though, you'll see that everything that you went through was for a reason. And you'll see, like, okay, now. I'm glad that I was able to stick through. I'm glad I listened to Dorian telling me that I need to stick through these tough times, that I need to attack these things head on. And I want to see you on top. I want to hear your testimony like, hey, I really did stick with those hard times because I listened to you. That's what I like to hear. I like to hear people coming out on top. Next tip is control your narrative. If you've been following me on social media, you hear me on um, on the podcast before you read the book, then you've heard me talk about this a lot. I talked about this like, multiple times on multiple occasions. Your life is a continuous movie and you are the creator. A lot of times I use the author analogy, but right now I want to create this as a movie because our lives is a movie. You choose the characters that you want to remain in your life and your story. You choose the plot twist, who has a starring role and anything else you can think of. If it's not going your way, change things up. Some things may not be as easy as others or some may take a little bit more time. But the show goes on and you keep your narrative going where you like it to go by controlling what's in your life, what's not in your life, what direction everything is going to go. So I want to ask you to control your narrative and be conscious of that. Don't be afraid to change things up. There's nothing wrong with it. You don't own an explanation to anyone. You don't have to hold on to anybody's feelings. You just have to take care of what it is for yourself. And this tip is probably one of the biggest ones. Blocking the outside noise. It's nothing worse than people shooting you and your dreams down because not everybody's going to see your vision. It was given to you and not them. So you don't have to expect them to to get what you telling them or to get the vision that you have because it's not manifested yet. It's just all in your mind at the moment. And not everybody will have the same belief. Most people only stick to what they know and like to play it safe, which is perfectly fine. If you're going after something that's out of the norm, be ready to go on a lonely road. And I'm telling you right now, it really gets lonely because you don't have people to talk to. Sometimes your your thoughts take over and you're just over there in your mind. You battling with yourself. So it gets very lonely for you to pull yourself out of those dark holes. The ones closest to you won't get it until it's fully grown. Strangers sometimes recognize it as they begin to see that you're consistent and that you're serious. And they start to see like, OK, I see what this person is doing. I see it coming together. But the ones closest to you, they won't believe it until it's a full success. You know that term where people like the people closest to you always want to get something free, but they go support other people. And that's very true. And don't expect anything different. And don't be surprised when this happens to you. In between this time, you were here to doubters and it won't be words you like all the time. Block out this noise and put all focus into what it is that you're going after. Whether that be a new you or a new business venture, whatever it is. Those that are meant to be there will be there, but don't expect it to be everybody. And there's no hard feelings. There's no hard feelings. That's just the way the world works. So I want you to understand 
You need to block out that outside noise. Don't allow that to determine who you are doubt or direct the direction that you're going to go. And last but not least, you owe it to yourself. You owe it to the person in the mirror. You're the one that go to sleep with your thoughts every single night. Every night you listening to yourself, you listen to the thoughts in your mind, all the things that keep replaying in your mind. You the only one living with those things. You can't expect someone to come and save you or do the work for you that only you can do. Don't expect anyone to feel sorry for you and your circumstances. It's people going through things much worse than you. Everybody's going through their own things, so they don't care about your problems. At the end of the day, you must have you like you, the person in the mirror. You got to have your own back. And I'm not saying try to take the world on alone. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying don't expect anything from anybody because no one owes you a damn thing. Nobody owes you to be by your side the whole time. Like, nah, even if you expect it, even if it's your parents, they don't have to be by your side the whole time. And that's perfectly fine. I want you to understand that whatever it is that you want out of this life, you can do it. But you have to go out there and do it. You have to stay out of your own way, stay out of your own head. And that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help you. Get through these things, help you get through those frustrating moments, help you understand that this is the steps that you need to take. And this is the person you need to become in order for you to do the things you put your mind to in order for you to to change as an individual and to develop into a better you. So that concludes today's episodes. I want to ask you to check out the links down in the show notes. And I am doing a new thing on Instagram every Monday, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm doing a a guided meditation where we're going to just come and we're going to talk and and just get you introduced to meditation. If you're not into it, if you always thought about it, then come and join me every Monday, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So do the math. If you need to look it up, look it up to see what time it is for you. But I want to see you there. I want to interact with you all, whether you join this one or you join another one. I want to see you there. I want to help you get introduced to a different mindful practice and and just invite you into something that I do myself. This is something that I can't even believe that I'm doing. When I was making a post, I was looking like, damn, I'm really posting something about meditation coming from where I come from. I never thought that I'd be in this space. So that's something I'm excited for, something I'm excited to share with you all. So go ahead and enjoy me. But overall, I want you to have a good day. Go ahead and enjoy yourself. And remember, everybody has greatness within.